What is up, everyone, and welcome to the Random Encounter Podcast, episode 85. I'm your host, James, and I'm joined by Bryant. What's up? And Fan XY. What's up, what's up? And uh, Ash is not here today. He's uh, taking a break. Uh, got a little bit busy there, but we got a few things to talk about you about today, uh, such as PlayStation. Specifically, are they out of touch with their fan base we're going to go into a deep discussion and kind of give our opinions on that as well we'll get some thoughts from uh fan and brian on the nintendo indie world direct i didn't watch it because i don't know i just didn't care for it for whatever reason uh and yeah but before we get into that don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button we are trying to hit a thousand subscribers we're sitting at 833 so very close uh, every bit does help out, so definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Share the channel does help out a lot, uh, as well as follow on Twitch because we do simultaneously stream on both. But uh, I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's talk about what we've been playing recently. I will start off. I've been playing nothing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I've been playing actually a lot of older Smash Bros. game. Um, and there's a reason for that, but I won't really say why. But I've been playing a lot of older Smash Brothers game. And the more I played them, the more I realized there's a bunch of stuff that we're missing in, like, Ultimate or a bunch of, like, modes and features that I missed from, like, Melee, Brawl, uh, even Smash uh, 4, uh, both Wii U and 3DS. There's a bunch of stuff that I coin missed battle. in those games. Uh, yeah, coin Battle was, is a pretty fun feature. Like, on the competitive side of things, Ultimate is better, like, all around, right? Like, I feel like it's more balanced than any other Smash Bros. game. Uh, you know, kind of, because my boy Marf... <laughs> he he's he's nerfed really bad and he kind of is not that great in that game but for the most part i feel like it's pretty balanced but there's like extra modes like modes that you would just go in just to have fun that are missing uh in in melee i forgot there was an adventure mode where it's a mixture of uh 2d side scrolling and then of course you have like your arena battles which are pretty fun and i forgot completely about that mode and it's just fun it's like it's a fun side scroller just with the smash mechanics and I just wish Ultimate had something like that because the world, what's it called? I think it's called World of Light, whatever the um, that mode is. I don't know. It, it's it's a cool concept, but it's boring. it's fine. Yeah, it, it's boring compared to the other ones. Like I, it took me forever to go ahead. And I haven't even finished it. I'm at the like final <laughs> boss. I haven't even finished it because I just didn't think it was that you know engaging. Where subspace emissary in brawl was was fun um you know adventure mode in melee is fun uh smash 4 well it didn't have anything like that it's still fun to play like single player like um classic mode and stuff like that but i've been playing that and there was something else i was playing i completely forgot final fantasy 7 rebirth i have been playing that on stream um it's one of those things that the story is getting interesting now like i'm really interested to see like the whole conversation with uh like biggs and zach and i won't mention anymore mm -hmm. but that whole conversation actually drew me in a lot more because it's like okay this is getting more interesting i know what's going to kick me out is all the filler content that goes in between right like having to go somewhere and stuff unless they just throw everything at you and it's just story beat after story beat then i'm all in like i'll, I'll love it uh, but yeah, I've been playing that. But there was another game I was playing. I can't really remember. Uh, man, what game was I playing? Well, shoot, I can't remember. If I if I think about it, I'll. You remember it, Talos? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what about you guys? What have you guys been playing lately? Go ahead, fan. Uh, just the same stuff that I have been playing. You know, Breath of Fire Four. Where do you Where are you at in Breath of Fire Four? Uh. Um, I only just got past the, um, uh, where was it? Because I'm grinding right now, and I was trying to do all the combos so I can get the first uh, skill um, from the first master that you find in the desert. Yeah. Have you found Forever the fourth Breath of Fire yet? No, I haven't found that yet. <laughs> That's not uh, even nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I mainly be playing that, and then um, I've, I've been trying to get back into um, Mega Man Z X. Is that is that the one where you get the little um... transformations? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, there's ZX and ZX happen. Yeah, 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 ZX. Yeah, 
I started. <laughs> I started back that back up again from the beginning. Yeah, ZX is ZX and ZX Advent are good. They're Metroidvania Mega Man games. Uh, have you played them, Brian? Um, I've only played like a little bit of uh, like zero and zero two. I I haven't gotten enough into it to say like what I think of them honestly. Okay, yeah, ZX is, takes place of course after zero. Um, I mean honestly, they're almost like standalone games because there's there's only actually ZX has a callback to uh, zero, and most people won't realize it unless you pay attention. Uh, but other than that, like uh, like ZX Advent specifically is like its own thing. But they're fun because they're more Metroidvania, so you get to explore, you know, cities. You have dungeons or areas, levels, whatever you want to call them. You have the boss fights, of course, there. But it's it's really fun. I I, I recommend it for whatever reason. When it first came out, there was a lot of hate, but I think more and more people are kind of like enjoying, especially now when Metroidvanias are a lot more popular. I think a lot more people are seeing how great of a game that is now. <laughs> oh, it's a Metroidvania. Yeah. ZX oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was. It, yeah, zero is. I thought not. it was just like a zero game. No. Yeah, yeah zero is not. It's just, uh, it's like almost there. Like zero is like a half step kind of, but not really. ZX is straight up Metroidvania. Yeah. You oh, that's cool. Through. I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's really really cool. Highly highly uh, re- recommend playing them. And like I said, there's not that that's, much of a. That's story on the collection, time. right? Mm-hmm. Is it on the collection? It okay, is cool. In the collection. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the collection. Yeah, it's one of those um, where with ZX, I'm trying to think. Or ZX yeah, Advent I was is pretty playing interesting. It. Mm-hmm. I was playing it on Emu Deck, but then when the collection came out, I bought the collection, and now so now I'm just playing it on Steam. Yeah, yeah. Usually that's my take. Like if I'm emulating something, the minute the game comes out, I get it there, uh, unless it's a worse port, like Grandia, right? Like <laughs> the Grandia games are not that great of a port. Um, but you know, for the most part, like same thing. I had like Zero Mega Man Zero, and then the ZX that has a lot of quality of life stuff such as like auto saving because that game is freaking hard and you will die a lot. The auto save will save right outside the boss uh, room. So you can, you have like infinite tries to beat the boss, which I love. Uh, OG zero doesn't have that. You have your lives. And then once you die, like every other Mega Man game, you got to start the whole level from the beginning. And if the level's really, really hard, which all Mega Man zero levels tend to be very, very hard. Yeah. You're kind of like screwed. <laughs> um, what else? Just, just those two things. Yeah, for now. Mm-hmm. I mean, I haven't been playing too much games uh, when I have the time. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Um, I did remember the game, the other game I was playing, mm-hmm. uh, Super Mario Brothers Three. Oh, okay. Yeah, always just, a good choice. Yeah, just randomly, uh, I picked it up on my. Uh, well, I have it on the Switch, of course. I was playing the GBA version and doing the e-reader levels because I haven't finished all the e-reader levels because uh, some of them are pretty pretty hard. But uh, I've done a, a lot of the e-reader levels, so I was continuing that. Fun, fun game. You know what's you know what's really cool about that GBA version that makes it. I think maybe. I mean, the only thing that I don't like about the GBA version is that they nerf a couple of sections to make them easier. Mm. Um, like in uh, yeah, they do in um, level one, two, three. In level five of the first world, there's a section like where you're going in between these two platforms and like they make the platforms like it's either like they make the gap smaller or they make the platforms bigger and yeah. uh, to make it easier for somebody. So like I don't care for that. But what makes up for it, though, is that once you beat the game in Mario Brothers 3 for Game Boy Advance, you can um, replay any level, including the, to- the Toad Houses. So you can like go in and get like 30 frog suits, 30 Hammer Brothers suits um tanuki suits you know just load up and then you can just go in any level you want with any power up you want like i think that's yeah. really cool that you can do that <laughs> that's kind of cool yeah. I, I, di- I didn't know they they did that i always thought it was mm-hmm. just a straight port uh, nope. of the game hmm. oh, you know straight port with voice acting right you have the right gotta have that <laughs> uh but yeah that i've been playing that enjoying it the e-reader levels are are fun uh unique the like beginning levels are levels from other mario games and then they start going to like their own original levels which are pretty cool uh highly recommend it if you like super mario brothers 3 definitely play it it does get tough though i will tell you that uh so yeah let's go ahead and talk about the nintendo wait how about me oh oh you didn't wait oh i thought you went i didn't go yet no oh, sorry go go brian <laughs> Uh, so I'm cleaning out trophies on 7 Rebirth, and 
even though you and I don't see eye to eye on 16, you and I do see, I think, I think do see a lot more when it comes to rebate, uh, rebirth, yeah. as far as like what our opinions it's are of it. Rebate. I wish I got a rebate. Rebate. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will tell you that I agree. Like the sections with Zach that you play as him in those interstitials, uh, they're probably my favorite part of the game. Like they're just like, they have this like tone to them. Like they have this vibe that's yeah. just like so dark and very mysterious and interesting um it's, it's super cool and like this it doesn't like really go anywhere by the end of the game but it's still cool yeah what ends up happening is cool so you'll get there um cleaning up trophies in the game um i'm only going to try to get maybe three or four more i just i'm, I'm so ready to move on with it but i definitely want to get the trophies that i can just because i'm like that mm -hmm. but it's just like here's like a perfect example of what why i have a problem with this game so there's a quest. Uh, there's there's a quest in Rebirth where uh, you collect these things called proto relics, which I don't know if you've run across that, James. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you've played it fan yet to the point where you collect the proto relics in every region, and um, eventually, after you collect them, you go somewhere and you fight a boss, or you go somewhere and you encounter this boss. I won't say who, and you you hand over the proto relics. Because like, okay, cool, I got the proto relics. I went through all this crap to get these proto relics, and now I'm gonna fight this boss and I'm going to get what I get from fighting him. It's like, no, you got these proto relics, which are very taxing to get there. A lot of the time they're very repetitive to get the proto relics. And so you bring them to him and then he says, okay, well now I'm going to scatter them across the map of where you are right now. And then you have to do three battles where you're fighting two, two, um, uh, I guess, do they, are they called just like sum summons in rebirth? Like they're yeah. not icons, obviously yeah, okay, summons. summons. Yeah. Yeah, so like you have to fight like two two summons in, in the same battle arena. You have to do that three times. And then you go and fight the the, the boss that you brought the proto relics to. And it's like if it just would have been like, okay, I went through all this crap, got the proto relics, brought it to the guy, fought the guy, got my thing, then no problem. I have no problem with that quest line. Like I still think there's a little bit too much to it. Like I think it's it's it really drags. But like I'm okay with that. But the fact that like I have to get the proto relics bring it to him then he scatters them then i have to do four bot three boss battles and then i fight him like there's just a lot of extra steps in the quests and i know that you i don't know how much you've noticed because i know you're probably mainlining it a lot but like in these side quests it's always do this and then this yeah. and then this and that and then you complete it and it's just like dude like just give me the quest like i didn't think 16 had this problem like give me the quest mm -hmm. i'm gonna finish it get my reward okay on to the next thing so I'm almost done with it. I'm ready to be done with it. I have so much other crap to play. I started, I've been watching um, Shogun on um, yeah, Hulu. Yeah. Fantastic show. Yep, Fan, you it. like it too? Yeah. Oh, it's so it. good. It's so good. Fan, have you checked it out? It's on my to watch list. I was oh, it's busy, so good. Um, binge watching X-Men 97. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm doing that. So I'm, I'm watching the original X-Men because then I want to watch X-Men 97. But mm -hmm. um. Yeah, it's so good. And so I kind of got an inkling to start playing, uh, to try Onimusha. Yeah. And like, I've picked up Onimusha in the past and I've always kind of put it down. And um, I, I'm like, okay, you know, this time I'm actually going to do it. And so I began playing it and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, but then I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to play this old school because I don't know if you guys remember this, but when Onimusha first came out, it came out and it used the D-pad as the control method on PlayStation 2. And it, and it moved like Resident Evil 2, like where you have to like tank it, you know? Yeah. And so I was doing really well using the analog stick because that was a lot more modern, like where you like go a direction and then you go that direction, whereas as opposed to, but they kept the thing where if you use the D-pad on PlayStation 4, it moves like a tank. And when you go to that mode, when you start using the D-pad and using it as a tank, like I was getting killed. <laughs> um, and so I'm trying to decide if I want to go back to it and keep playing with the analog stick and enjoying myself or if I want to be a purist and uh use the d-pad but um yeah i've been playing that a little bit too but i did do i just have so much stuff to play it's like okay i'm done with rebirth sucking up my time like i really have to finish up these trophies and move on with my life but anyway i gotta that's where we're at the anime of onimusha i haven't finished that one. Oh, i've never uh, seen that yeah it's a uh, it was a netflix uh adaption and i started oh really never finish it yep um, oh i didn't know it was on netflix cool yep there's that there's a dragon's dogma one that a lot of people don't even know about uh there's a dragon yeah, i think i heard that one anime. I remember it the Dragon's Dogma one. Yeah, it tells you the story of like the first uh, Dragon's Dogma. Did you one. watch it? Uh, I haven't watched the Dragon's Dogma one. The only mm -hmm. Musha I started, and it seemed pretty true to the game so far. Uh, did you watch Cyberpunk? No, yeah, I, I still I haven't did. watched that Edge yet. Runners. It's good. I liked it. It was good. 
Yeah, I hear a, a lot of good things about it for whatever reason. I just have very violent, play. very, very violent. Yeah, which I mean, <laughs> violence to me doesn't matter. No, it doesn't bother me either. It's just yeah, it's yeah. very violent. Yeah. yeah, I think the best animated show on Netflix is actually um, Castlevania. Arcane. No, oh, Arcane, Arcane too. Yeah, Arcane's good too. Yeah, for... I haven't finished Arcane either. I got to finish it. I, I was enjoying it, and then I just dropped off. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. I just dropped off for whatever reason. Uh, but I do got to finish that one too. But yeah, Shogun is really, really good. Uh, yes. It makes me want to play Rise of Ronin. <laughs> Another yes, game. yes, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, yep. but but part of me, I will say this, I'm a little bit biased because I do love the like samurai era. Like I'm a uh, ob- obsessed with that stuff. Any type of samurai, like Ghost of Tsushima, love it. Yep. It's my second favorite game of all time. Um, but I love anything of that era, whether it's samurai or ninja. I always like those those things. Uh, Neo, Neo Two. Uh, I mean, you know, Rise of Ronin Sekiro. is like the only samurai thing I haven't uh, purchased. What, what were you saying, fam? That's Sekiro. Uh, yeah, that's actually another one that I haven't bought for whatever reason. Uh, every I have it on my wish list, and it goes on sale. And I'm it like, goes on Man. sale a lot. I know, and, and I, I see it on sale, but I'm like, eh, let me buy Final Fantasy like four for like the 90th time or something like that instead. <laughs> you know, that's that's usually did like you, uh, my thought. Mm-hmm. Did you plat uh, Tsushima? Me? Uh, no, yeah. I don't plan them in. No, okay. Like <laughs> okay. I, I plan I them in. I loved it too. I, I almost. I almost. That was like the, would have been the second game I almost platinum. Mass Effect 2 being the first one. Oh, um, but I just stopped. I'm like, eh, I, I've had my fill. Let's move on. You had your journey. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I still, still enjoy it. I might rebuy it on PC just to play it all over again and play it on Steam Deck. Um, did you play the DLC? Uh, Yes, I did. Played a DLC. Okay. The island, what's it called? Something yeah, island. Ichi Island or Ichi Island, Ichi island or something? Yeah. 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 I played it really short, like an hour. If you oh. don't do any of the side, side content, it's like literally just an hour long. Uh, yeah, super, really? super short. Oh. Yeah. Um, short DLC. You can even I'm, call that a DLC. Yeah, you could. I want to say, I want to, did I, maybe I even streamed it. I might have streamed it and I finished it early that I had to find another game to play because it was super <laughs> short. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was it was not that long. You you spend more time traveling than you do anything else, which is funny. But uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and dive into our first topic, which is uh, Nintendo Indie World. So I didn't watch it. I know some things that were announced for it for it that I didn't care for because I've already played some of those games already because they're available on other platforms. Uh, but um, Fan and Brian, what do you guys think about it? Um. So the the biggest story from it, like I'm just like kind of because I did watch some of it, but um, it's not fresh in my head like exactly what was there. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. I will say I'm the, just going through. Yeah, the biggest thing a lot of people are talking about is the Ninja Turtles game, which I oh played. yeah, that does look good. Yeah, yeah I, I played yeah, it because it's a it's like a multiplayer mm-hmm. roguelike. Yes. Uh, and you know, to me, like, I guess I'm not that hyped because I played it. This, a lot of these games they showed were available already on like Apple Arcade. So I played a, a lot of these games. I played it with my son. The Ninja Turtles game was very fun. Enjoyed it. I'm not a big role. Splintered player. Fate. Um, what is it? Splintered Fate. Yes. That one. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big role, like roguelike fan. Like I couldn't get into Hades. I hate games where I have to continuously restart. Right. Like I, I, I did that before I played NES games. There was no safe spot. You usually had to restart every single time. I did that journey already. I, I just want to play a game where I can save and continue. Um, you know, and that's me. And I, and I get it. Yeah, you know, roguelites usually have a, you know, there are progression systems and stuff like that. But um, it, with this, with Ninja Turtles, there is like a more seamless pro- progression system. Like you go through levels and then there's other things to go with, which is kind of cool. Uh, and of course, playing multiplayer is like the most fun I had. You know, I played it with my kids. It was nice to be playing, like, you know, Raphael, because I do love the Ninja Turtles. And it, it's a fun Ninja Turtle game overall. Uh, one of the best Ninja Turtles games since, I mean, pff, what, Turtles in Time? Like, I don't know. It looks I don't know, cool. I don't know of any other Ninja Turtles game that's come out since then. Um, the, yeah. the, the most recent one, what was it? The beat em ups, the freaking. Oh, yeah, Shredder's Revenge. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah there's that too. That's true. That's another yeah. good one. Um, so yeah, I would say it's it's different from that, but it's still enjoyable just like that. Because Shredder's Revenge was really really good. Um, so yeah, thoughts. Um, other than the Ninja Turtles game, because I didn't know that was originally a Apple Arcade one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, it would it would be a Europa. That was probably the only one that I saw that like 
looked interesting because it was kind of almost like Zelda ish. Oh, you know, I, think you, I know which one you're talking about. Um, because they talk about like running, gliding, you're exploring, you're like the last human, like exploring this like ruins. Um, so that's like out of all the ones during the indie world direct, that was like the only one that like caught my eye. Yeah, everything else was kind of like meh. You didn't like uh, Little Kitty Big City? <laughs> no. Uh, they did show, like, another crab treasure again, but they already, like, showed, showed that. that before. Like, yeah, it was, like, just a quick little snippet at the end. But Europa was probably the one that, like, caught my attention. Yeah. Uh, there's a game, was it Yars Rising? It's yeah, that's a way forward game. game. Yeah. Refine, refine self, the personality test game. Yeah, that's not my bag. <laughs> yeah, same here. There's a lot of those online for free already. So, uh, <laughs> you know, like what One Piece character are you or something like that? You know, right? <laughs> um, sticky business. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Uh, I know it's just the direct was just, or the indie world case is just was kind of like, meh, you know, yeah. and it. it it just for Nintendo for this year. I know what they're doing because they're mm -hmm. not like they're not going to do anything about the new Switch or whatever until next year. It's already yeah. been talked about, so that's going to happen. So it just seems like this year is just going to be a very slow like decline. Yeah. And this indie world is just seems like it's evident of that. Like, yeah, we're yeah, at the end a, of the lifespan. There's a demo of Europa already. Yeah. So. I haven't played it yet, because, uh, I mean, I just watched the Direct, like, a few days ago. Yeah, it looks interesting. It, But it is one of those that I'm afraid of the, like, uh, of it being not great, because there was another game that had that, because, like, a lot of people, uh, like, Nintendo Life was saying it's, like, a Studio Ghibli mixed with Breath of the Wild. Uh, if you remember, there was a game called, what's it called, Baldo or Balto? Something like that. Uh, I might be mixing a game. But there was a game that was similar to that. It had a Studio Ghibli um, art art style but it was like a link to the past and the game was actually okay it was just very very buggy and i stopped playing it um ah, man i can't remember what the name of the game is um but yeah cat 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 quest 3 was another one they announced which cat quest 2 was pretty fun as a um like co-op game um stitch that was also available on Apple Arcade. Uh, there's Biz I don't know how you pronounce that. Bzzit. Yeah, Bzzit, I guess, yeah. <laughs> what type of game is it? Uh, it's like a... Mosquito Simulator. Mr. Yeah. Mosquito 2. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm just messing. It, it's like a, I don't know, kind of Mega Man game, but not, it looks like. Maybe not. Yeah, I, I'm looking through the list. There's definitely nothing that I care about. I know a lot of people are happy for Steam World Heist, too. Uh, I've never played a Steam World game, so I I don't care. Yeah, that, that was one of the reasons why I didn't have on the. I didn't have this on the list because I'm like nothing really interesting in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I agree with you. I think Nintendo's gonna be silent. Maybe not the whole year, but may, but maybe till like the summertime. They'll probably do another summer, um, another summer like Nintendo Direct, and then they'll have. Maybe they'll announce Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD Collection or something like that. Oh, that'd be amazing. That's the only thing they need to do. Like, <laughs> yeah. And Xenoblade Chronicles X. If, yes. if this is like any indication of how this year is going to go for Nintendo, mm -hmm. like they need to do something to kind of keep yeah. people buying and playing their games, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've already announced Thousand Year Door. So we mm -hmm. know that's coming. Yep. Like, what else? And Luigi's Mansion, too. Yeah, Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion, too. Uh, to, which, I mean, they should have just done Luigi Mansion 1. Collection. Yeah, yeah, like, freaking remaster, because they already have three on the Switch. Mm -hmm. Now, for people who want to play the first one, they're like, well, I can't, can't do play. it. On the DS, 3DS, that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> which is dead now. I know. So, it's, it just feels like Nintendo's like, you know, just like whatever. Yeah. They're, they're uh, like, they're, they're, take, they're taking this year as a, a I don't off care year. right now. Yeah, yeah, it's like an off year. I, I mean, I, I think they, they probably will, because, um, their last big earnings call, they talked about Pikmin, right? And one of the key things that they did highlight, which uh, we talked about it, I think last last year, maybe in the beginning of the, year of the podcast, where they um, 
<laughs> Basically, what they were saying is Pikmin 1, 2, 3, and 4 are all available on the Switch. And because of Pikmin 4, they've seen an increase in people interested in Pikmin. So what are they doing? They're, they bought 4, they loved it, and now they're playing 1, 2, and 3 again. And, you know, that, usually a lot of that happens, right? You, you play a game, you like this one, you're like, oh, well, let me try the other games. I want more of that game. Let's go ahead. And I think Luigi's Mansion, you're, you're right. Three's already on there. You have two coming. Why not one? You have every Zelda game except for Wind Waker and Twilight Princess available on Switch. You have Skyward Sword. Uh, of course, there's Breath of the Wild, um, you, you know, in um, Tears of the Kingdom. You have o- Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Link to the Past, Oracle of Ages, Season, Link's Awakening. You have two versions of Link's Awakening. There's basically every single Zelda game except for those two games on there. So they should, I mean, we've said this plenty of times. Their franchises should be always available on their platforms. That will stop emulation. Yeah. yeah, on yeah. their current platforms. Because that, that would stop emulation. Like, if Nintendo has a problem with emulation, we've said that plenty of times, put your games on your current platform. Nobody will have the need to emulate your games. You can just play it right there and then. So, oh yeah. What about you, Brian? Um, the biggest news, uh, I would say, from this Indie Direct is the lack of news about Silk Song And... <laughs> I um I've played uh Hollow Knight a little bit and I really enjoyed what I played. I, I it'll be one of those things that I eventually go back and play, but it's just it's just so asinine to me that they announced this thing I think they announced Silk Years Song like two thousand eight two thousand eighteen, I think. Let me see. I was gonna say two thousand eight, like whoa, like before the first no. <laughs> Uh, they announced it on February uh, eight, on Valentine's Day two thousand nineteen, so five years ago. Mm-hmm. Like, they should have just not done anything. Because, like, I feel really bad for these fans of Hollow Knight that are, like, waiting with the clown makeup on, like, the meme. You know, waiting for them to say something. And, like, you have all of these um, uh, ratings agencies. Like, I don't know if it was, like, in Korea or, like, in Japan or whatever, like, that leaked that yeah, this Korea, game was rated. So, Korea, yeah. Korea and Australia. Yeah. Yeah, Korea and Australia. And so, if you're, okay, well, that means it's incoming if, like, there's already things put up for that and it's just no news at all and um i just uh, it's it's too bad but uh yeah overall i really wasn't expecting much from from the indie direct i actually just looked at that europa trailer and it does it actually does look really cool i kind of like how that looks um but other than that uh, the ninja turtles game looks cool i guess but um no yeah same i i wasn't expecting much uh which is why i skipped out on it on it and usually i watch the indie directs you know just in case but i was like eh, i don't think anything's gonna be shown um you know, there's a possibility because I think Silk Song. I, I might be wrong, but I thought it was announced like they showed gameplay at an Xbox uh, presentation, and they said it was a Game Pass game. So they might be yeah, maybe for Microsoft to do another like direct or whatever, and that could be their big maybe because if they paid them to tell them like, hey, we want you to announce it on Xbox or on Xbox, I will get at least the Xbox showcase some hype. But who knows? Who knows? All right, let's go ahead and talk about our main topic of the day, and that is Sony. Is Sony or PlayStation out of touch with their fan base? There's a, a, a lot of reasons why I wrote this this way, and it could be a yes or no, right? We might all have different uh, you know, takes on this, but uh, one thing kind of prompted it, and that was Little Big Planet 3. So they sent out an official statement saying that Little Blood Planet 3 servers are just shut down indefinitely. They're not going back up. They went down back, I want to say in January, and they said they were going to work on it to bring it back up. But now they're saying they're not bringing it back up at all. Makes you wonder were they never going to bring it back up to begin with, and they were just trying to make it seem like there was a problem but not do it. But it also brought back some memories of Little Big Planet being revel- relevant, right? And just looking at Sony as a whole, there's a lot of things that me personally, I, I'm not liking about the PlayStation brand. Uh, and the biggest thing was when they shut down Japan Studios. I was like, whoa, 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 like, why, why are you shutting down Japan Studios? You should not have done that. But now when I look at their portfolio and you bring up like the games that they have right now, everything is almost the same, <laughs> right? Because you know, as much as I love Ghost of Tsushima, you can argue that Horizon Forbidden West is just Ghost of Tsushima with robot dinosaurs, right? It's, you know, one person fighting Zoids. Uh, that's literally what, for, you know, a Horizon Forbidden West is. Uh, and then, of course, you have Last of Us. Sony's in a position right now. They will rather do a Last of Us 
part one remake of the remake versus do Little Big Planet four or anything like that. So I'm wondering, are they out of touch? The other thing is they are going forward with a PS5 Pro, which sounds cool on paper, right? And they're really going into the upscaling and stuff like that. But then I think about it, they released the portal, which I own one. And it's like, why did you not make it a full handheld? We already have rumors that Xbox and Microsoft are working on a dedicated handheld for Xbox. And there's a lot of things that Phil Spencer was talking about, such as being able to play your games on the go. That you, it's an Xbox handheld, so any game you bought on your Xbox will be available. Not only that, but allowing like you know third-party stores like Steam and stuff like that available on there, which sounds all all really cool. Honestly, I have quite a few Xbox games. You know, Lost Odyssey is one of them. If I could play that on the go, I would buy the Xbox handheld in a heartbeat. But as far as PlayStation goes, it doesn't look like they care about that. And, you know, I'm just wondering, what do you guys think? Do you think Sony's out of touch with where they should be going? Um, No, I don't think they're out of touch. Um, Yeah, I mean, because I'm looking at the sales of Little Big Planet 3, five and a half million. Yeah. Look at the sales of The Last of Us Remastered, the first one. Yeah. It's 18 and a half million units sold so they're going where the money is which is what their fiduciary responsibility is yeah um little big planet is a fun little game uh, i think it came out at the playstation 4 launch but as far as like and, and i wish that they would put the servers back up or whatever but at the end of the day like if they're having problems with it like right now i just think they probably have resources yeah. better spent elsewhere um yeah. i mean sumo digital was the company that made Little Big Planet Three? It wasn't even um, it wasn't even uh, Media Molecule that made a little bit yeah. Little Big Planet Three. I mean, Media Molecule, the last game they made when they took a chance was Dreams, and yeah. Dreams just completely crapped the bed. And they haven't made an original original game because Dreams arguably isn't even a game; it's a game creation tool. Like there's like game elements to it, but like I would say Little Big Planet is more of a game than Dreams is a game. And the last like dream, the last game that Media Molecule made was um, I think Tearaway in 2013, so that's 11 years ago. Yeah. So um, I-, I just think it's a matter of priorities. Um, I think it's a matter of the fact that The Last of Us is not even just a gaming. Uh, uh, me- it's not gaming media anymore. It's an Emmy-nominated television show. It's it's a huge property, and they got a lot a of sales out of it. It's a brand, yeah. And so, um, I, and, and as far as your thing about the uh, the PlayStation Portal, I think the reason that that thing is selling the way it is is because of the price and its use case. I think that if you were to have a portable that has like machinery in it, like let's say like a, a PS4 portal, a PS4 portal, yeah. for example, like let's say it's like the power of a PS4 in the portal body. You have to raise the price on that. That ain't going to be 200 bucks. It'll probably be closer to five, I would say, like yeah. prior on the price, like a Steam Deck. And people yeah, would just say, if you're lucky, 399 I would yeah. say. Between 399 and five, I would mm-hmm. say. And so people would just be like, well, I'm just going to go with like a uh, like a Steam Deck or something like that. And maybe there'd be people that would buy. Like I might even buy something like that. But I just think that the portal kind of hits this sweet spot where it's $200. It's pretty cheap in comparison to other things. It's remote play. It's ergonomic as heck. You know, you can. It's a controller with a tablet on it, and uh, I'm not a fan of the um the, the 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 joysticks on it. I feel like they're not. They don't have Small. enough movement to them. Yeah. yeah, like the Steam Decks are perfect. I think the Steam Decks are great. That's why I'd rather um uh remote play on my Steam Deck rather than um on the on the portal. But um no, I mean I do wish that they that they could go and fix this because I know there's lots of people that put a lot of time and effort into their creations in Little Big Planet Three. Um, but no, I don't think they're necessarily out of touch. You know, maybe one day they'll put this stuff back up or they'll come out with another property that'll use those resources more effectively. That'll sell better. So I, I, I will disagree with you when it comes to the, the, the portal, right? Because, for example, there's a lot of people that are PlayStation fans, right? And if you put it at $500, they already have a library on PS5. So if you, if you can tell those fans that, hey, for another $500, we'll allow you to play that library on the go. I think a lot of people would say, yes, yeah, sign me up. If I can play Ghost of Tsushima on the go, right? If I can play my library, Demon Souls on the go, Bloodborne on the go, right? Sign me up. I think a lot of people would buy that. Uh, because, you know, a lot of times, right, what, what calls people to the platform is already existing libraries. What do or, How much investment do they already have on said platform? So I do think that if they were to come out with a four hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollar, five hundred dollar, um, you know, portable device, I think people would buy it, um, right? Because people who 
have a choice between a Steam Deck and a, let's say, PlayStation Portable, a real portable, they're going to look at a library. If they only have 10 Steam games versus, you know, 500 PlayStation games, they'll probably go with the PlayStation Portable because they can play those games that they already have and then some. Um, you know, and of course, you know, the Sony exclusives, they'll be able to play day one. Like, imagine that you'll be able to play, play Rebirth on the go, right? Like, I would get that day one if I can play Rebirth. I'll probably play Rebirth more if I was able to Yeah, but to that's a that. PS5, though. That's a PS5. That it could yeah, be on PlayStation. 4. I mean, they, they could. Same thing with Demon's Souls. If they, they would probably have to do something that will, like, downscale, like, the, the, that game, the uh, game. The system would have to be 720p only for it yeah. to... There's no way it's going to do 1080s. Oh, no, like it wouldn't. East no. 60 or yeah, even I mean, 30. 720? It would have to be like 720. Yeah. For Seven, sure. I think 720, 30 FPS or something like that. Like, lock it. Like, I'm sure they can do something like that. Um, you know, it, what was I going to think of? There, there was something else I was going to draw a comparison I completely forgot. Um, shoot. Oh, like the Vita. Like some games, like Borderlands 2, for example, right? They made a version for the Vita. But I think now, especially since x86 is what they're based off, it's a little bit easier to scale, you know, all your graphics without having to design a brand new game with, you know, brand new like, graphics and stuff like that. It's a lot easier to scale the elements within said game now. Um, but yeah, as far, as far as like the other things go, like, I, I, I do see where you're getting at. That's where the money's at. But imagine if Nintendo only milked animal crossing right animal crossing is their number one selling game and now every game is an animal crossing game you have animal crossing you know what was new horizon you, you get animal crossing hd remake right uh, animal crossing part 2 hd remake or something like that you know you, you that, that's everything like that right if they if they were only to focus on those set franchises imagine how stale nintendo's lineup would be right compare that to playstation who it, it seems that Everything they're focusing on is, again, Last of Us, which, you know, I like Last of Us. Don't get me wrong. I do like Last of Us. But we haven't had an Uncharted game in a while, which is a little bit different, right? Ghost of Tsushima, I'm sure Sucker Punch is working up something. There hasn't been an infamous game in a while. There, there's a lot of franchises that they might not have, they might not be the 18 million seller, but they're coming out. Like, we just mentioned two, right? How many did that sell? But Nintendo's bringing it back again on the Switch. For people who enjoy that, right? They keep their variety of first party. I think that's something to really look at. Um, Fan, what are your takes? Um, I mean, it's. I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm kind of agreeing with Bryant a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, they're I mean they're they are you know it's a, for them it's a business right they're no they're not run by gamers they're run by business guys which we've all talked about yeah. how. CEOs that run these <laughs> companies like businesses are just kind of running gaming down for all of us, which is mm -hmm. a little bit true. But, you know, that's... I don't think they're out of touch. They're just following where the money is. Yeah. And what so, they've are, I mean, what they've also done is, like, hey, we're going to start, un like, unlocking some of our exclusives yeah. to PC, which yeah. I think that has helped them a little bit um, versus people... Because it, it kind of softens that whole debate, you know, of, like xbox versus you know pc versus sony yeah. right now the fact that you could play a sony game on a pc you know there's less people out there like harping about who's the console who because i remember back in the day you know who you were what kind of console you had at home kind of dictated how you were <laughs> what kind of friends you had and stuff like that yeah like, yeah oh, we had console in my grade you know, school like i like nintendo oh you like sony yeah. like uh, you know, you know. got actual wars so, they'll start like oh yeah each other kind, yeah kind of <laughs> I, wouldn't go, I wouldn't go that far don't we'll make no, that no, joke on america you know, james some, you know there'll be some heated discussions yes you know <laughs> but i don't think they're too out of touch i think they're on a slippery slope though mm -hmm. um because i'm seeing I'm, I'm sorry to say but i'm seeing signs of like early sega mm-hmm and if they don't, if they, if they're not careful what they're doing, they could yeah. end up becoming Sega. So it's just, it's, it's like foreshadowing. Hopefully this is just, you know, mm -hmm. a year or two of just them trying to like sort things out because PS5 launch kind of PS5 and the Xbox series X launch kind of screwed both companies because it ha happened during COVID, you know, the whole yeah. chip production stuff like that now. So everything kind of got to got all out of whack and everyone had to like reset 
Yeah. And I think they're now just kind of like bouncing back. Mm -hmm. And they even said right up at the beginning, this year is going to be a tight year for Sony. We're not going to have a bunch of exclusives, a bunch of, you know, um, party one games. It's going to be a very light year. So they already kind of like let gamers know ahead of time. Yeah. Where with you know where my thing with Nintendo earlier, it kind of people were kind of hyping that like oh the new Switch is gonna come out until they finally like squash it. They they should have said that early on to be honest. Yeah. Like they sh- they should have just said that at the beginning. Hey, there's no plans to release this console this year. Yeah. You know, instead well, of I mean, making was... all this speculation. Yeah, and I I do think a lot of going to the Switch. Uh, oh, and what's up, Rosie? Uh, welcome to the podcast. Uh, and yes, Nintendo should have kept updating Animal Crossing. I agree. Um. I, I do want to say that N- Nintendo, like, I, I do believe the people who were not leaking, but, like, were insiders saying that, yeah, the Switch was supposed to come out this year, I do think they're 100% correct, because these are people that I follow, and I've seen their track record, Yeah, and they definitely have insiders. There were, there were, there were leakers that yeah. have a good track record, like, yeah. things that people, they said that happened, yeah. and I think that was the issue, is that I think Nintendo probably just, felt like, maybe yeah. they found the leak. And they're like, nope, we're not going to do it. We're not going to well, give these rumor, guys any more yeah. black. Well, the rumor was that uh, because they wanted to have a better launch lineup, that they were going to come out with not as good of a lineup. So they want to, when they launch the Switch 2, they want a better lineup, which I'm down for it because usually console lineups at launch are not the best. Like, <laughs> I, I want to say. I mean, the Switch lineup when it came out wasn't the best, but look what happened. Yeah, but that's because Breath of the Wild. Like, <laughs> Breath of the Wild single handedly. Remember, the Breath of the Wild outsold the Switch. There were more copies of Breath of the Wild. Well, that's because it also came out the on Switch. the Wii U. That's all, <laughs> no, this that's was the Switch version. On... This was okay. just the Switch version. There was more copies of the Switch version that got that got sold than an actual Switch, uh, which was funny. Uh, but, like, you know, you have a game like that. Switch 2, you're going to need something to the Breath of the Wild level, right? Mario Odyssey 2 or something like that. Because I, yeah, I doubt we're going to get more. Or Metro <laughs> Prime 4. Yeah, Metro Prime 4, which. I don't know. Like for me, I would buy it. In day one I wouldn't that. say that game by itself, but yeah. that could have been like a title that came that launched with the console. Yeah. Right. You know, like they could have came out with it. Yeah. They should probably definitely come out with another Mario game for yeah. sure. But going back to PlayStation, um, cause we are going sidetrack there. Yeah. I, I do see the same thing, right? When it comes to PlayStation, I'm seeing signs of not so much like an early Sega, but more of a company they got bought out by a bigger company and is now running that company down. And that's what it seems like. That's what PlayStation to me today seems, right? It's not the PlayStation of the PS4 era where it was like, you know, we have these great games. We have these great uh, first-party software and stuff like that. This is more of a, you know, you know, we are a large company. We just bought out this small company and now we're just going to do nothing with it. We're just going to do the same thing over and over again. Like that, that's the way I see it. Maybe my, you know, my opinion might change next year if they announce a variety of first-party games. But I personally don't don't see that happening. Like I'll see them going all in with Ghost of Tsushima, like two or something like that. I'll see them coming back with Last of Us three, which I think they said already that they are working on that. Yeah, um, and I don't the see remake. Them... Of, well, the mm-hmm. remake of Part Two is coming out soon, isn't it? I thought it was already out. Is it? It was already out. Yeah, I think. Might For have what? Already out. For Last of Us Part Two, the re- the yeah, that's how they're both out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what else? I, I just have to say, James, though the Luigi's Mansion comparison isn't great because yeah. altogether, all of the sales for all Luigi's Mansion yeah. games is twenty five million, yeah. and uh, Dark Moon by itself did six point four eight million. Yeah. Um, well, and Luigi's planning. Mansion, no, little no, Mansion Three did twelve point yeah. eight two million. So that's okay. close to that's close to Last of Us remaster numbers. Yeah. So. You know, I don't know. I think they're going where the money is, just like everybody else is. And I mean, if you look at the sales of the PlayStation Five, like they're not cratering. That's an incredibly successful console. Yeah. Um. I mean, you can. I mean, you can make parallels to anything, right? I mean, if you're saying like Animal Crossing, Nintendo's not just making Animal Crossing. It's like, okay, well, Sony has made uh, Spider Man, Spider Man Two. Okay, well, how many Fire Emblem games are on the Switch? Okay, Sony has done Last of Us Remastered, Last of Us Remastered Two. Okay, how many Mario games are there on the Switch? Okay, the only thing that I think is like a real like really original that's really successful that nintendo's done is probably um splatoon like there isn't like a splatoon equivalent that's like made recently on the playstation i, I don't Foam think uh, this... yeah, yeah right well, that was no that's, square that's, that was square like, enix anyway yeah <laughs> but i don't think that's a, a winner there 
No. Ninety five percent of the player base bored. dropped out. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's Square Enix anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, cause like what what I'm trying to get the comparison is like the variety of first party games. Like N- Nintendo is smart; they have the Zeldas, then you have a Mario, and then you have the different Mario branch offs. You have the uh, Pikmin, right? Like Pikmin Four, Pikmin as a franchise has was not that great, and of course it comes to the Switch, and now it sells like amazing. And then we all do know that there is a Switch effect to to games that come out on Switch. Like I guarantee you, like if yeah, everybody buys it, yeah, like if Last of Us. A, like PS3 version were to come to the N- Nintendo Switch, I bet you a lot of people would buy it, you know, and it will probably outsell part one and part two combined on PS5 for sure. But, um, you know, th- there's a Switch effect to games, which I do understand, which does make it hard to compare. But unless, when, unless it was the Last of Us Cloud version, then it would not sell at all. No, yeah, it would not sell. It would be like, <laughs> As it shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, like, I, I think that that's something that that PlayStation should really look into. Look into their vault of IPs and bring these IPs And I agree back. with. And um, I agree with. Like Resistance. I really enjoyed Resistance. I liked yep, it. Me too. Killzone. Yeah. Killzone. Yep. Killzone is another Sly one. Sly Cooper. Yeah. yeah, Sly Cooper. Like we, There's a lot of games that I still think, especially now that PlayStation is more popular than ever, why not do that, right? Because you got Resistance came out in the PS3 era when the 360 was dominating. Give PS5 players a chance. You know... Killzone was something that not a lot of people knew about. So when it came out on PS4, yeah, the numbers weren't that great, but it was still one of the higher selling launch games on yeah, PS4. Yeah, one of their old PS4. IPs that they still have out was is Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, Ratchet one of their from the from like the PS1, PS2 era. Yeah, like that's really only one of the old still IPs they have that's on a PS5 now. Yeah, well, if you think did about you hear it. the uh, I think which there was is kind of sad. There was a story when it came to that, and I believe the story was... I gotta look it up to double-check. But I believe the story was the whole reason that Ratchet & Clank even exists on the PS5 is because when they were messing around with the PS5 technology, they used that as a tech demo. Yeah. And then that's, the, how, that's how they got it greenlit because they were, it was already almost like halfway done. So they're like, why don't we just turn this to a full game? And they did it. Um, and that's how, of course, that came in. And, of course, we do see that they were going to use that technology on Spider-Man 2 anyways because there's a part in Spider-Man 2 that has similar functions there uh or similar i guess features we would say but um that that's I, and i think that's the only reason why ratchet and clank exists if they didn't do this tech demo if they would have used spider-man as a tech demo it would not have come out on ps5 <laughs> i'm almost 100 percent sure on that but yeah i i guess you know yeah for me that's what i was, I was saying like this, this topic could go both ways i get brian's point of view uh and, and you know in general they're going where the money is right Last of Us sells, and I think we all know that. But I feel like, for me, as a longtime PlayStation fan, I feel like they're outside of, like, of what made PlayStation special, right? Like, why people gravitated to PlayStation. Like, look back at all the PS3 players that kept, that stood with PlayStation, and be like, look, this was the core gaming. Again, Resistance was very fun. Um, there's games like there's fun is there's games like Hell Divers, right? It has a PVE mode. Resistance had something like that already. And it's like, they were doing this before. If they would have brought that back, they could still be, you know, making some great strides with different IPs. I mean, um, if they if they would have kept with Killzone, because Killzone was almost kind of like one of kind of like a battle royale style where yeah. each person was a certain you pick your class, you have your special abilities. Mm-hmm. Very similar. It's kind of like Overwatch and yeah. you know. What's, what are all the other ones that are out now that some people like are Valorant still playing? and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or what's <laughs> what's that other one? CSGO? The, no. Oh. The one that's pretty much like non-existent now. It's like a three-on-three. Mm. Uh, oh, Apex no. Legends? Apex oh, Legends. Yeah. There it is. You know? I forgot about Apex. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sure like if Sony would have done Killzone and probably like did it, I bet they could have done it better. Yeah. And I, and I think it's not only a Sony thing, too, because EA is, is yeah. now that you mentioned that, EA is almost yeah. at a loss, too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I Maybe I'm just old. I'm just an old man yelling at the clouds, you know. <laughs> that's all That's all I am. Oh, man. Yelling at kids to get off the yard. Yeah, exactly. Get off my turf here. 
But yeah, what, what's a franchise that everybody would pick to come back? If you had to choose one Sony franchise, if like PlayStation were to come directly to you and be like, hey, we will make whatever game you want us to bring back. Name one franchise you want to bring back. <laughs> um, so I don't, does it have to be Sony first party or can it be something that was like on PlayStation? Um, or, or we could do both, I guess. Like yeah, I could tell you a third what, party they like in yeah, the first what party. Game you're thinking of, and I'll 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 see because it, it depends. Okay, so um, I would say my third party one would be um, Colony Wars. You remember that game on PS One? It was like a space fighter game. I did not know. Okay, yeah, it was it was really cool. Like they, a lot of those games because it was made by the same people that did um, the Wipeout games, and the graphics okay. were just yeah. awesome for a PlayStation game. Uh, but then my first party, I would say, would probably be Sly Cooper. Like I think a Sly Cooper game in 2024 uh, with like the PS5 and those cel shaded graphics. Like I bet it would look just super cool. That'd be cool. What about you, fan? Um, I was actually thinking of Jackson Dexter. Yeah, Jack and Dexter. Yeah. Um, and um, probably like bringing back Infamous because what the the second one? Yeah. Because the first one was. Electricity. Yeah. The second one was um Electricity as well. Second son. Uh was no, electricity. Second, they could second one was no, he infamous was too. Uh, infamous too, but he didn't do electricity. Yeah. It, it, well, hey, same it? character. Same main character. Okay. Yeah. For some reason I thought the powers were different. No. I might be thinking of a different game. The third one, um, Second Son. And there's also the yeah, yeah, um yeah. the that, vampire that's, expansion that's what I'm too. Second son was uh, the different power. Mm -hmm. Uh they could have brought that they could they could bring that back. I'm for some reason, I'm thinking it'd be interesting to see um, them utilizing that direct storage on the PS5 mm -hmm. to, like, implement, like, certain powers, like, yeah. interestingly. Maybe, like, quick teleporting from one end to another end. Yeah. Um, I feel that... Just, I, I, I feel that... Without, got, they've got a lot of leeway. Yeah. So, my only thing with Infamous, which I would love for it to come back, I feel that Wolverine is going to kill the Infamous franchise. Because yeah, that gives probably. Sony the right to kind of go ahead and just, you know, have Sucker Punch do an X-Men game, <laughs> right? We got Insomniac is doing a Wolverine game. They're like, okay, we want more X-Men mutant powers. In, uh, you know, Sucker Punch, here you go. Yeah. Lo and behold, here comes Nightcrawler yeah. in a Wolverine game. That I mean, some of the abilities there were kind of like Nightcrawler, yeah. where you would disappear and reappear and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, you but yeah, I agree because Sucker Punch was the closest, or Sucker Punch, uh, Infamous was the closest we got to an X Men game, and I really enjoyed, it, especially Second Son. I really liked Second Son. I thought it was great. I platinum that it was great, yeah. And then they had that expansion, um, the something light. Um, is it was first it, light? What was it? Was it called First, first Light? Was it was it First Light? I think you might be right. Yeah, because they Dude, it was I'm... a PlayStation Plus thing, and that's actually what got me into uh, Second Son. Cause that game, the PlayStation. Yeah, it was first light. Yeah, you yeah. play as that girl. Yeah. Oh, you get her. Power. And there's also that cool vampire one too. Uh, Festival two. one, I think it was called. Yeah, I think it was in two. Yeah. What were we gonna say? Ben? I'd like I think it wasn't in between back, one and two. Um, uh, I really want them to bring back a game that's just like, um, kind of like Metal Gear Solid. Where, but, but the original, right? Old school, where you do espionage, kind of like Tenchi, where it's all about stealth. Yeah. Or, like, Thief. You know? There's too many of these, like, just shoot, 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 action, 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 action. Yeah. You know? It'd be nice to kind of, like, slow it down a little bit. Like Hitman? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, better. <laughs> so, for me... I'm surprised uh, you didn't mention this fan. For me, I would like Legend of Dragoon to come back. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a good one. Because yeah. uh, that, I mean, they had a Legend of Dragoon. Like, if you name top 10 games on PS1, Legend of Dragoon comes up a lot. And that's a game that's not a franchise, but that could become a franchise because it. Yeah, because they never did good. a remake. I don't remember a remake or a remaster nope. at all. They just re released it on PS5, yeah. but that's yeah. it. Well, I mean, for like to purchase online, but they yeah. never like remastered it. No, yeah. version, which is very surprising. Yeah, it's that's something that I would like to come back. Even a, a remake, like you don't even have to change the combat much; just update the graphics. 
uh i would i would buy it for sure yeah just a remaster just mm-hmm. like bump it up to 1080 60 but that would be one and then the other one would have to probably be resistance because i did really like resistance a lot um resistance was pretty fun uh and resistance was 3 was fantastic yeah i i enjoyed resistance 3 I, you know what which one i like the most though and again a little bit of bias i prefer third person games which is the psp one Oh, I didn't like. It. I tried playing that like a yeah. month or two ago. I didn't like it. Yeah. Hey, control wise, it doesn't hold up for sure. Right. I, I really enjoyed it at the time because I was like, "Wow, this is really, really fun." Uh, they would have to do like modern controls, of course, with the right thumbstick and stuff like that, which a lot of shooting games on PSP make it difficult. They had the um, what I call N sixty four syndrome, where you know the N sixty four. A lot of games you had to use the C buttons to like aim. Yep. They you know the do this. Yep. You basically had to do that with the face buttons on a PSP. But uh, that that would be one. And then it's a tie with Gravity Rush. Because Gravity Rush is amazing. Part 1, love it. Part 2, which is rumored to be coming to PC. If it does, I will buy it on, on Steam. It's really good. And it, it has a Avatar like Legend of Korra vibe for me. And the funny thing is I'm not a big fan of Legend of Korra. Because I feel like storytelling wise, it kind of like starts off decent and then it just starts going downhill uh it gets to to um i think it, it like loses focus uh it gets weird but like gravity rushes it has a vibe in terms of the world building and stuff like that feels like that and then the cell shaded graphics are just amazing like on ps5 i'm sure they would look even better if they can just revamp that engine but we won't be getting that that or legend dragon because those were part of japan studios and japan studios is no more <laughs> Which kind of sucks. I mean, just because they closed the studio, I mean, they still have the rights to the IP, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But it's like, Like, it's kind of like Konami making Metal Gear Solid. Nobody's going to care about that. Like, it's not Kojima. (laughs) Well, we'll see when uh, Snake Eater Delta or whatever comes out. Well, you know, that was already, uh, and apparently it's just a one for one remake. They didn't even redo the voices. It's all the same voices. It could become an issue with, like, you know, when 343 took over uh, Uh, Halo. (laughs) For Halo, right? Yeah. If they try to bring that back and hand it off to someone else and they just kill the IP. Yeah, I would say the only time that hasn't happened is, um, shoot, what's the name of that company? Um, Shoot. What company? What they make? They're in Nintendo, the people who did the Donkey Kong Country Returns games. Um, Oh, um,. Uh, retro yes retro studios right because they didn't work on donkey kong before uh they what was the last game same thing with metroid yeah metroid yeah it's true it was all a brand new studio that did did that well was it retro studios that did metroid metroid prime yeah yeah okay yeah that's what it was yeah you you took the studio that did metroid prime and did uh that's a few like you know (laughs) it's like well, I'm saying like that's it's different. Like they're the only studios that I could think of. Just like wow, like they took a franchise they never owned, and just made it even better. You know where most most things like Halo went downhill. Um, I'm trying to think of another. Well, I guess Iron Galaxy did pretty good with uh, with Killer Instinct. I mean, Rare did bad with their own franchise with uh, Banjo Kazooie, <laughs> with Nuts and Bolts, uh, which it, it was. It's not that bad. It's all right. I'll give them that. Would you want Nintendo to buy Rare? Yeah. Oh yeah, they would. They would use Rare better. I think they would use. Uh, they could take better advantage of Rare. You don't think so? I think what made. I, th- I think what made Rare special, like really exceptional and special, shipped a long time ago. Yeah. Like Sea of Thieves is cool or whatever, but like that's not what Nintendo what had Rare mean? for. You know. Well, maybe they'll make um go back and tell them like because the all, the other thing about Nintendo is like they're very hands on with their games too so it's like Miyamoto's there always supervising you know when uh, Retro Studios was doing Metroid Prime right like they Miyamoto was the one that was saying hey uh, you know th- this is cool but can they also do this right you know can you add this to Samus and stuff like that uh, I-, I think that's one of the things that makes Nintendo stand out because not only is the studios there but you do have a lot of like advisors are always advising on how games could do like Mario Mario uh, Super Mario Brothers Wondered was basically a whole brand new team minus uh who was it? I forgot his name but the same guy who did uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 he was the only other person that was there but Miyamoto wasn't really hands-on with it 
So it's like there, he was there to like advise, but that's about it, like to give like tips and stuff like that. But that was not his game. And maybe that's something that, you know, other companies should really look at, like this advising role. Like, okay, this is your franchise. Why don't you help me out with, you know, with these things versus, all right, I'm in the house. Let's do it my way now. <laughs> that, But that's me. But yeah, that's all we have for today. Not a lot of news actually going on this week. It's a little bit quieter overall. Uh, I can't think of anything else major. Was there anything else that we missed that we didn't talk about? That a lot of people were chatting about? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think there's nothing major. Um, no hardware, no software, no nothing. I mean, Indie World, that's about it. Uh, I can't think of anything. Yeah, that's really it. Is anybody here buying U- Uden Chronicles? Was it 100 Hero? Uh, I forgot the whole name of it. Yeah, Uden Chronicles 100 Heroes. You're right. Yeah, 100 Hero War or whatever it was. Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody no, I'm not. That? They're not? No? Why not? Um, The reviews have been like mid and I have so much other stuff to play. Really? I haven't I haven't seen any reviews. Oh, what about... I know this isn't really video games, but it's kind of. Uh-huh. Counter Ruse being cast as to voice shadow. Oh, that is something we should talk about. Uh, so, funny story. <laughs> the morning that I, uh, the that morning of that day, I was talking to my son. I think he'll do great. To and I was honest. like, I, <laughs> I was like, Keanu Reeves. Uh, oh, I was talking about it. I, was like, I really would like uh, Jason Griffith to come back as Shadow's voice because I like his voice as Shadow. I said, but if there's any famous actor that I think that can do it, will be Keanu Reeves. And then, you know, I was talking to my son about it. And I was like, you know, if you listen to his voice, like in John Wick or any other thing, he has that voice. And all he has to do is change it a little bit to make it sound more shadowy. And then next thing you know, like four hours later, that gets announced that he's the voice of Shadow. I was like, wow, look at that. Well, well that's it. That's it, James. You had one chance in your life to will something into existence. You just got it. So now that's you it. You wasted it on this. <laughs> could put that it. into Legend of Dragoon. I should have. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Oh, man. But, yeah, I, I think it's a good cast. Like, uh, Idris Alba as, like, Knuckles, I thought was a perfect cast. Like, he, he yeah. brings the Knuckles. He did it atmosphere. really well. Yeah. Um, even uh, Ben, uh, or I was going to say Ben Starr. Uh, what's his name? Um, Schwartz. Yeah, Ben Schwartz. <laughs> even him as Sonic. I was like, wow, he's he's really good. And I feel that they couldn't find anybody as good for Tails, which is why they used a voice actress to Tails to continue doing it. Um but everybody else has been great. You know, Jim Carrey as Robotnik uh, slash Eggman, I thought was great. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where this go. I, I want to I wanna see the new trailer, the trailer that everybody got to see at, uh, what was it, Comic-Con or something like that? Yeah, I, I want to see that trailer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, who doesn't love, I mean, if you have a problem with Keanu, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you, you have some soul searching to do. Like, everybody likes Keanu. Yeah, exactly. He hasn't done anything wrong not that we know of <laughs> and his movies are usually always entertaining even the movies yeah, he has at least <laughs> what were yep, john say? wick was great yeah the, his cameo movie. or his small part in uh always be my maybe was yeah hilarious. toy story yeah. 4 he was a toy story 4 yeah he played uh do it's name duke kaboom whatever that that like canadian uh uh like action figure mm. with the motorcycle that was Ken oh Reeves. yeah 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 that was right that was right he's he, basically a knockoff of um, Evil Knievel. Right. Oh, it's like a Canadian yeah, yeah. version. The okay. Canadian version of Evil Knievel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah the, That's right. The Always Be My Maybe. I, yeah, because he played himself in there, right? Yeah, he played himself, but he played like such a crazy, weird, offshoot version of him. Yeah. That, like, you know, that's not who he is as a real person. Um, but it was, it was funny. It was, I, it's funny. Uh, I would probably say the only one that, like, because I haven't played the game yet, so I don't know. But him as Johnny Silverhand in Cyberpunk, I haven't yeah. played that game yet, so I don't know how well he did or how you know voice acting he did yeah. uh, on that game. But I assume it went like mm-hmm. did good because I mean everyone played it and bought it. Yeah. A- even after like after they fixed all the bugs and stuff, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, every movie he's been in, I I haven't had an issue with. I I've I've liked them, enjoyed it. Maybe the 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 last Matrix movie. 
I didn't I didn't like it because I feel like it, it was one of those lore dumps, right? Like, the lore. Was, it was fine. You're the, you're the chosen one, and now there's the chosen two, and it's like, huh? Like, so basically, the first three movies are null, you know. And I and I hate when like franchises do that when they try to expand on something that already exists and then they start changing it. It's like, uh, no. <laughs> I think my favorite of his was uh, Constantine. I think I like Constantine a lot. Constantine was pretty good. It was good. Um, It was definitely different for what the character is based, who the character is based on. Oh. Was was that Constantine based off the DC hero? It is, but they they didn't do a one-for-one, right? Because Constantine is actually English. He's British. Yeah. So he speaks with the British accent. He's supposed to be like um, Billy Idol. That's how that's how they drew him. Blonde haired, like really rough, mm-hmm. um, scruffy, just like no nonsense. So having Keanu Reeves play him, you know, dark haired, LA American, definitely very different. And I don't think a lot of people who are comic book fans like that. The one because it wasn't. I mean, it was it was a fine movie. It just I don't think people enjoyed it because it was such so different from the source material. Yeah. Um, the guy that had the TV show Constantine, the guy that had him play him, actually did really really well. Yeah, that was a blonde guy, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, it was an actual yeah. blonde dude who was British. He's like he's from the UK, and he did like the character nuance very very well. And yeah, I won't all, say all of Keanu's movies are great, but I don't have one that I hate. You know, like they're just they're fun to watch. Regardless, I don't I don't have a bad time of it. Yeah. Like Scanner Darkview is good. I remember the lake house, you know, romance movie. It was fine. The day the earth stood still. Great remake. Going, don't hate it. It was good to watch. Going back you know, to that. I don't, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel like I wasted my money anytime I watch one of his movies. You, yeah. You know what I mean? R- real quick, I wanted to say with uh, Constantine, the one that was on the TV show, uh, he was the voice actor of uh, Edward Kenway in uh, Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah, yeah. So he, he did the voice of him, uh, and they used his likeness to to make the character, uh, which was kind of cool. Because the minute I heard him talk, I was like, you know, typically, like, no offense to British people, but it's kind of hard to like, you know, distinguish who's who. But with him, I knew his voice right away. I was like, wait a minute, this okay. sounds like uh, Edward Kenway, and sure enough, it was him. Um, but yeah, Forty Seven Ronin, that one was really good. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. Uh, Man of Tai Chi. I like that because I love martial arts movies. Speed. Um, speed. Yeah. Yep. Classic. Yeah. Now he's really in speed. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if he'll have the him do a reference. was fun. Oh, Replacements no. was really good, too. Yeah. yeah. Was he? Replacements is the he football the, one, right? Yeah. He was the quarterback. Gene was Hackman. Quarterback. Yeah, Wasn't Gene Hackman in that? I, yeah. I, I, yeah. He I was almost coach. Confused that. I almost confused that with any given Sunday because I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Re- okay. Because I knew he was in one of those. Um, yeah, I mean, he has a lot of movies that are just, they're just fun. Mm-hmm. You know, Bill and Ted. Yeah, like, Bill and that, Ted. All three of those movies were entertaining. They're not like, you know, thought-provoking or anything like that at all, but they're fun to watch. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure, there's some, I'm sure there's some Bill and Ted philosophers out there. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, was there any yeah, other, M- other news? M- Sonic, great choice. Yes. That's fun. Um... I wish we had like a good a good icebreaker we could do real quick or like good a good like uh, yeah I got nothing a good gaming question um, gaming question oh you know what we can do and uh, Brian hasn't done this before we could play video game twenty questions real quick okay <laughs> so uh, you want me to choose one uh, I'll choose it and then you and Fan you got it yeah guess. we got to ask no, no we did it last time with you doing it let me choose one we did okay yeah so let's go ahead and do that okay I already know one. All right. Okay. Because I uh, I just played it. So, um, okay. are you guys gonna keep track? <laughs> yeah. Well, Play you're supposed to track. keep track yeah, of how many okay. questions. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'll do it. Let me you're just get my notebook. You're the scorekeeper, so you keep track of everything. Okay. All right. Let me know when when you're. Ready. I'm good. All right. Okay. All right. This uh, did this game come out before the year 2000? Yes. Okay. So. Dreamcast, PS1, SNES, NES. Xbox? No, Xbox would have been after. Really? Yeah, no, I Xbox remember having... Yep. 2001. 
Yep. Correct. You can't talk. You can't. You're not supposed to say anything. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm just no, 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 no. I'm saying I'm just telling you that yeah. uh, Xbox did indeed come out in 2001. Yeah. Like that's Google. Well, you, you yeah, know, but I'm you not can't telling say you that. You, you can't oh no, that. you said after 2004. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought no, 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 it's I before. before 2000. Before 2000. Okay, I, saw, yeah. I heard 2004. No, 2000. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I might have misheard the before 2000 with. Okay. Yeah. 2004. Okay. All right. My bad. That, that's like me thinking through. Okay. So. Yeah, Brian. You basically. Right. You can only say yes or no. Nothing more. Okay, fair enough. Okay, Yeah, because everything else will be a tip. <laughs> okay, um, fair enough. All right. So. Okay. All right, so before 2000. PS1, Dreamcast, mm -hmm. N64, mm -hmm. and then before. Yeah. All right. Should we ask if it's a, a game that has, like, 3D graphics? Because then it would knock out those three consoles right away. Yeah, that's, right? that's true. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Does the does the game have three D graphics? No. Okay. All right. So retro it is. So right. we going Super Nintendo Genesis. He said he just played before. it too. Oh. Man. Did he mention a game uh, like a uh, an older game on the? Because he he talked about Final Fantasy. Because he said he just uh, played it recently. He did mention something. Should should we ask if this game is based on an IP? Cause there were a lot like of games it, back in the day that were like based on movies. Yeah, okay. Movies. Okay. You know, um, not like I'll, I'll say like I say let's media. wait. Okay. All right. Let's wait. So we narrow down the console then. I will say let's narrow down the console. Okay. Do you want to say okay handheld versus home console? Let's Which, let's say question? was it on a handheld? Okay. Yeah. Was was this game on a handheld? Let me look. I feel like it's not. If it, if he's not too sure, then it's definitely console. What's going on with my internet? Uh oh. Uh oh. You just got hacked. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, it it is on a it is on a handheld as well. Okay, so it came out of both. Yeah. Because if it, if it's the answer is as well, that means it came out of both. Yeah. Oh. So that it had to be. So Nintendo if it came game, out of both, think. well, it, I mean, it could also be game Sega because they have yeah. the Game Gear and the Genesis. But not a lot of Genesis games came to Game Gear. I mean, a lot of Sonic games came out. On yeah, freaking, but they oh. were different. Let's, let's, you want to say, let's, let's, let's narrow down Nintendo. If he says no, then it okay. has to be Sega. Uh, was, okay. this, was this game on Nintendo systems? Yes. Okay. okay. See. All right. Um, now we got to figure out which one. If it's on handheld. Would it be a Super Mario game? Because a lot of those came out on both. Not really. They were different. But didn't you just say? Oh, I know yeah. that's NES. But so you just real, real quick, when we, when we say, both. huh? You said Super Mario Three came, was on both. Because they have the it came Super out on Mario GBA on though, game. but Game Boy Advance yeah. would not have been out yet. Oh, uh, but the. So here's to clarify if yeah. it was on handheld, uh, Bryant. Did it come out on handheld at the time when the game was released? Not now, yeah. or on any other handhelds after 2000. Did the game come out on a handheld before 2000? It was multi-plat at release. Okay. okay. Yeah. We so, can count that as another question. Yeah, Super Mario Cause... Brothers 3. Okay. Then that doesn't... Yeah. All right. Yeah, because... Then that will kind of narrow it down a little bit more. Than, so that, that will count as another question. It was 2D. It could be Tetris. Because there was an NES Tetris, and then there was mm -hmm. Game Boy Tetris. Um. But did they come out at the same time i don't, they I might have. don't know yeah. they might have so, well, when, when did the like... game boy came out it was like 89 88 right it wasn't the 90s because 90s so. would have been the thing did this did this game come out before 1990 
No. No, okay. So it's not Tetris. Hmm. What game came out on both? Is, so, is this... so, if, so if it came out... If it didn't come out before 1990, then yeah. it has to be Super Nintendo. Yeah, when the, right? the Super Nintendo Super Nintendo came out in 1991, so it could still yeah. be NES. Hmm. Likelihood is low, though. Um, yeah. Is this a Nintendo first-party game? No. Okay. Huh. Game that came out on both. Should we hmm. narrow down genre? Uh... I would say do the IP thing. Did you ask the IP? We didn't ask the IP. Right? No, we, we, no we didn't ask that. Let's ask the IP. Yeah. Okay. Is, is this game based on like an IP, like a movie IP, like Star Wars or um, Power Rangers? Like any, any like one in like, any, like anything like that? It is like, based like, on an IP. It is based on IP. Okay. All right. Okay. So what, what ga- IP, what game based on IP came out on both? It would have to be in the Eric's. There's the Ninja Turtles, but one, two, and three were NES games slash arcade games. Mm-hmm. And there was a Ninja Turtle for Game Boy, but I don't think that was the first Ninja Turtles. Um, hmm. Hmm. Power Rangers. It's. I mean, do you want to ask if the game's based on Power Rangers? Yeah. Is the game based off the Power Rangers? Nope. Hmm. Okay. Oh, shoot. Um, hmm. Is there... Because there's Star Wars games on Game Boy. Yeah. And then you do have these Star Wars games for Super Nintendo as well. It could be Star Wars. How many questions are we at? Uh, you're on your 10th your now. Okay. okay. All right. Is the game based on Star Wars? No. Okay. I'm trying to think of other IPs out there. At the Halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Is this IP still around today? Like, are they still making stuff for this IP today? Does that make sense? As in, like, today, today? Or as in, like, like how recent are we talking? I would say in the last, like... Let's say few, last few years. Yeah, last yeah. three years. Five years. Few Let's years. Say... Yeah, like like yeah. yeah, three years, four four years, right? Like um. Within the last five years, from 2020, yeah. like and now, has there been still any, like new movies, new, like games, new shows, anything new shows, TV? Okay, so you said five five years. Yeah. Yeah, I would say at least. No. No. Okay. So nothing recent then. Okay, so it's definitely not Ninja Turtles. Yeah. No, no. Um, wait, actually, like hang, hang on one second. I want to double check something. Hang on. Yeah. I want to make sure that like I'm right maybe, about that. I was thinking maybe like a Spider Man game, too. But like. Yeah. But, well, Spider Man wouldn't count because that's recent. <laughs> and Spider Man. That's, what, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if he would have said yes, I was thinking a Spider Man game before he oh. said no. Well, cause okay, be- so the, the question was in the last five years, right? Yeah. Okay, that was say, your 11th question. So, yeah, I, in last five years, right? Uh, so, like, being relevant today would be, like, last five years, or there is something in the works for it coming in the future that's already been announced, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay, so are you asking um, last five years or announced? Well, both. I was going to say, if it's both? Re- okay, okay I'll, was, I'll say was yes. Re- if it's irrelevant today. Okay, right? yes. What, that was the question. So yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So it being relevant today, is it's being on. Uh, so, hmm. yeah, because I it think was... I think honestly I've picked the perfect game. Yeah, yeah, but we'll see. Yeah, I can't think of any IP on. Like I'm going through my brain, just trying to like, like, my mind palace. <laughs> is, is this game, um, based off a Disney IP? Like, is the IP Disney owned? No. Okay. 
I was thinking gargoyles. But yeah. That that takes it out of there. Hmm. What else is there? IP wise at that time. That's still relevant. So that means there's something that was made or is coming out. All right, Ninja Turtles is relevant. And I figure he yeah. would have known that already. Because we already said it's not first party. Yeah. So it can't be Mario, can't be Donkey Kong, can't mm -hmm. be Pokemon. Like, that all gets yeah. knocked out. Yeah, it's not Ninja Turtles. We said it's not Power Rangers. Yeah. It's can't be any Disney. of the Donkey Kong Country games. Yeah. Because that's first party. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of IPs. I'm trying to name, like, IPs. Um. Trying to think, what, what other IPs would they have made? Because it, it wouldn't be like anything like Dune. And I don't think Dune had any console yeah. games. They had PC games. Um, There's Godzilla. But I think he would have known Godzilla is still relevant. So he would have to have searched that. <laughs> well, he said yeah, that I saw Godzilla movie. minus one in the theater. It was yeah. fabulous. <laughs> um, so he said the IP is still relevant, right? Like they're still yeah. making stuff. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, either they made something in the last five years, or they're yeah. they're. And this is a game that was released in the U.S., right? Like it's not like a yes. Japanese. Yeah. Okay, okay, just to be sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, because that is part. Of question the thirteen, right? Or are you no, just asking a rule no, no, no. clarification? Well, that's, or, yeah, because okay. that's part of the rule. It's one of the rules. Okay. Yeah. No, it was yeah. America released. Okay, okay, just to yeah. be sure, because Ash tried to like scoot us sometimes. He tried to he tried to throw you a curveball there. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's done it. No, no I wouldn't do that to you guys. Not on purpose. I'm not totally heartless, guys. Come on. Yeah, I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what other IP? Hmm. So yes, this is like a cartoon base. Because there's they had games like Animaniacs and like yeah, and like Tiny Toons and like and yeah. yeah. Should we ask yeah, that? In 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 Anima Animaniacs did come back. Like they did release another. That is like, true. Shoe. Oh yeah. Hmm. Animaniacs is what? Warner Warner Brothers, right? Yeah. So should we just say is it based off a cartoon IP or you want to ask is it Warner Brothers IP? I mean we can ask if it's Warner Brothers because that would narrow it down yeah. even more. Hmm. I feel like cartoon first and then Warner Brothers if he says yes. Okay. Yeah. Is this game based off of uh a cartoon? Nope. Hmm. Good thing we didn't do that. Because <laughs> yeah. it would have said Warner Brothers, and he said no. Then well, would I mean, he could have said yes, and it would have been based on like a Warner Brothers IP that's not a cartoon. Like, yeah. <laughs> but what, what else does Warner Brothers have? Like, I, freaking Warner Brothers owns everything, man. Because, hmm. hmm. because uh, I mean, they own like freaking games for like Batman and yeah. like and on all that stuff too. Did, wasn't there a Batman game? There was a Batman Super Nintendo game. Was was there was there one on the Game Boy? Yeah, but I I would think he knows that that's still relevant today. But he said it was relevant. He says the IP was relevant. Yeah, today. well, I'm saying, but if you yeah. look at him, he had to search it up. Like oh, okay. Batman is something that's oh, yeah, yeah, relevant yeah, today. Gotcha. Everybody talks about I Batman. Gotcha. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, hmm. Hmm. You have seven questions left. Yeah. Uh, IP. It's not a cartoon. The Mask. <laughs> like, The Mask was a. There was a Super Nintendo game, I want to say, of that. Yeah, there was. I okay, so, so the game Nintendo. came out before 2000, between 1990 and 2000, right? That's the question you asked before. Because you asked if it came out before 1990. So. Yeah. And you said no. So it's between. So we've got basically. And it says Nintendo. Ten years. Yeah. Ten years between that line. I'm trying to think. Where was I at? Oh, where you... were you at in life? <laughs> <laughs> where was I at? <laughs> in 1990 and 2000. Cause... Well, I'm thinking of IPs. Third place, probably. I'm thinking of IPs that were popular at the time that they made games of. Yeah. So, like, The Mask was another one. Um, there was a Goonies game, but I think that was... I don't think there was a Game Boy version. I think that was NES. 
Because um, they even made a Goonies 2 game. What else? Hmm. I don't know what else. I mean, there, there's that. Wasn't there a Willow game also? Oh, well, that's Disney now, so that would have fall, fallen off of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it can't be Star Wars. I don't know if there was Star Trek stuff. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of IPs now. There, there was like a 7-Up yeah, yeah. game. I remember that. Um, should I ask? Is it based off a soda company? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you, if you, if you sure. Yeah. Uh. It. I don't know what else it was. Like, is the game based off a soda company? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Because I remember there was the seven. You know, like the seven up, like. Yeah, guy, the spot the, guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, there's that NES game. something that's yeah. still relevant now, right? But, yeah. This, okay. Seven up still um, relevant. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Was there? It's also was, a cartoon, though. Was it? I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, the Seven Up logo is kind of a cartoon. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, my cartoon yeah. was like cartoon, like yeah, Bugs yeah, Bunny yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There probably is a Seven Up cartoon yeah. somewhere. All right. Possibly. So around that time, mm-hmm. they would they would have to have been. Like Ghostbusters was big back then. Mm, I forgot about Ghostbusters. Um, uh, did they ever have a? Uh, I know. I know they had Adams Family games. And that and they true. and Wednesday yeah. came back. They did Wednesday, the TV show. Yeah. Which is based on Adams Family IP. So mm. there's that. Um, Should we ask then? Is oh no, I feel like it'd be a waste of question if we say, is this IP based off? Like, or is this IP with real people? Like, would that make sense? Yeah. Like, no. Who who owns like the the Adams family and stuff like that? I honestly company? don't know. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of like, you know, IPs around that time. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think. Were, were there racing games? Back to the Future. There was some Back to the Future games too, and I think there's yeah. Game Boy games too. And I mean, there was definitely Godzilla games, obviously, because that was yeah. like. But like, back like I said, the game. way he thought about it, it'd be, like Back yeah. to the Future would be one that. He yeah, might... but they hadn't had anything recently. Yeah, that's true. Like nothing Back to the Future related recently. Another Indiana Jones, because. Mm big back in the time because that's around you know star that's wars disney yeah oh that's true and Dang. yeah there's a lot of how many questions we have left seven six six now um <sighs> was there ever a top gun game there was yeah there was a top, was gun, a top game. gun game i remember yeah. crashing all the time in yeah. that game and then there was a recent movie with Top Gun, and, yeah. and the Top Gun Maverick. Yeah. Want to ask if you fly airplanes in this game? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Do you fly fly airplanes or fighter jets in this game? Nope. Okay, it's not Top Gun. Do you drive a car in this game? Is that an official question? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Dang it. Um. Four left. So we asked if it was like a beat em up? <laughs> you, you, yeah, you can. I mean, I can't think of anything else right now. Yeah. Is this game like a beat em up? No. Hmm. Well, Is this game based? Uh, yeah, I mean, it might be a, like a platformer or something like that. Yeah. What type of platformers are there as well, like that? Have we mentioned this IP already? Official question? Yeah. Yes. No. Mm. Two left. So it's nothing that we mentioned. <laughs> uh, man. Man. Who who made? God, what's his name? What's his name? Is it um? Uh. 
Who did Aliens and Termina- uh, Terminator? Um, like, who was the, the, the guy, the director? I'm, I'm like, I'm freaking blanking on his name. Ridley. I know it. Can R- I say Ridley, it? Ridley Scott, right? Ridley yeah. Scott? Yeah. Okay. Is 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 this game based on a Ridley Scott IP? Official question? Well, hold on, yes. hold on. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, Don't no. ask that. Because okay. Terminator, Terminator was James Cameron. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so should we ask that then? No, because the, oh. there's that. There's also a Robocop game. Yeah. Yeah, but that was also on Sega. But Ro- 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 Robocop's not still recent, right? Because he said, yes, movie? that it's an IP that's not oh, within the last no. five years. Well, there's a Robocop game that just came out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fuck. Yeah. See? That's it right, because it tanked. Robocop. <laughs> yeah, apparently, it was really out. good, though. It's yeah. just people didn't buy it. Yeah. So who did Robocop? I don't know what company owns Robocop. Hmm. So I feel like there's Robocop... so many there's so many like umbrellas within yeah. umbrellas. Should we ask if we mentioned this game already again? <laughs> <laughs> we might as well. That, like, that's, I don't know. We're just we're just wasting a question at that point. Yeah. I feel like it, it's Robocop. Well, maybe um who who did um what, what what has there been? Uh, there's been, like, we're gonna ask if there's robots in this game. <laughs> well, then it's gotta be RoboCop or Terminator. Yeah. How many questions we have? I left? mean, I, I was, I was thinking of like Jurassic Park and like oh yeah, there's James Jurassic Bond Park. to see if there was any in, in those games because yeah, those those, those a... would have came out around that time too. And there is a Game Boy Jurassic Park too. Hmm. Hmm. Freaking A, man. There's so many now. But I'm like thinking so it through. So we can like... ask our... How many... We have two questions, you said, right? So is Correct. it two questions and a guess, or is it one question and a guess? Because the 20th question has to be a guess. Okay, so you're, you've asked 18 so far. Okay, so okay. we have one question so and, one a guess. and a guess. Yeah. So we got we got to pick. Yeah. So, because it could be Jurassic Park. It's not owned by Disney. Who owns Who owns Jurassic Park? No, is it Paramount? I don't remember. I don't remember. I know it, but I don't. I know you probably don't want oh, me to yeah, say. I can't. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um. Let's. Hmm. Should we ask? Are there dinosaurs or aliens in this game? And then we can do a fifty-fifty. We'll do a twin cost to see. If well, he says you yes. can't ask. That's not a yes or no question. It is. He it's, said if there's dinosaurs or aliens. Yeah, it's yes or no. He just says yes. If he says yes, that means there's dinosaurs or aliens in it. If he says no, then there's not dinosaurs or aliens. Okay. So right. It either gets rid of two games or it gives us two games. Okay. It's up to you. We can do that or we can do something else. Because like robots is kind of vague too. Yeah. I figure if he says no to dinosaurs or aliens. Aliens. Then. Let's just go with your question. All right. You see there, what happens. Are there dinosaurs or aliens in this game? Um. If he has to think, then there's probably not. Yeah. There's probably not dinosaurs or aliens in this game. Yeah, because dinosaurs should be straightforward. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. So, um, so it's either so if there's dinosaurs but not aliens, it's still yes. Does that make sense? Or if there's aliens and not dinosaurs, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. So then it can't be. Yeah, it can't Park be Jurassic or, Park or aliens. Yeah. So then and maybe it's it can't be Terminator. Or, so, Terminator. so does that count as a question? I don't know. Um, I I mean I usually would count it as a question. Yeah. Yeah. If okay. it infers more information to yeah. get us closer to an answer, then yeah, it will be counted as a question. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh... Do you want to just guess again? Like, Robocop um, or Terminator? Sure. I mean, I'm just thinking of other IPs that's, like, coming out that I can... Uh, like, yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much what we're down to. Yeah. Uh, I I had a thought, but like I now we can't confirm if it is because we're so we're on the last one. Yeah. My, my but, other thought was um Mad Max because they're coming out with Furiosa. Okay. 
but we're like I, I don't know when that the, those games came out. So yeah, just uh, shoot your shot, man. <laughs> uh, is the game RoboCop? No. What is the game? <laughs> oh man, this. <laughs> What's so great about the answer to this is that it is like the most 90s property ever. And it was so incredibly successful in the 90s yeah. that like you're going to kick yourselves for like, like, because you kept asking yourselves like, oh, what are these pro popular 90s properties and, and yeah. stuff like that? And um, I'll just I'll just try to hum the main theme song and let's see if you guys can get it. OK. All right. Yep. Disney owns Home Alone, so that would have been a Disney thing. They don't own Home Alone, do they? Yeah, they do. It it's it was Fox. I thought I thought New Line I thought it was a New Line Cinema movie. Uh no well Fox I think bought them out and now Disney owns them. Okay, well, I didn't know all yeah. the inner all the inner politics of that, but I don't even know if you guys would have gotten it with that, though. Like that's that's really insider. I mean, yeah, that's true. Because there, because if you would have said yes, then there would have been like a lot more. Yeah. Like. Yeah, but we'd have IPs. asked cartoon, and we would have yeah. gone down that because then we could have talked. Yeah, but, but there was a, there was a lot, you know, like <laughs> in Indiana Jones and. Yeah. That's true. During that time, so yeah, I don't think we would have gotten it even if you would have said yes to that question. <laughs> Yeah, I've uh, I remember like that game because like you probably you guys probably remember this uh, just like back in the early mid '90s, like Kevin McAllister, Macaulay Culkin was like yeah. the coolest kid ever. Like you wanted to be Macaulay Culkin, yeah. and I, my neighbor had uh, Home Alone on the SNES. It's not a very good game, but like just the fact that you could play as like Kevin McAllister like automatically made it like so cool, and you could. <laughs> and that question you know, about like that game came out on. The Game Boy and the SNS at the same time, and Genesis apparently. Yeah. Genesis. Oh wow. Yeah, they, I mean, they wanted to milk that sucker. Are you kidding me? I oh, mean, yeah. what's so funny is that like that question you guys asked me about like aliens and robots. Like, I don't know if like he had like any like toy aliens or toy robots. You know, so I was like, I don't know. <laughs> funny. Yeah. Oh man, got a loss here. Good game. Got a loss here. Good game. It was fun. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah. Not wasn't expecting that. But yeah, not as, your normal, uh, you know. Yeah, <laughs> normal. That's you a gotta, good take. You yeah. threw it. You threw a deep cut on that one. Mm-hmm. But but not so deep that it was like crazy deep. Like I mean, Home Alone was yeah. very yeah. popular. And actually, yeah, yeah, like yeah. if it was relevant, like they made that movie mm -hmm. recently. I think like in the last few years or whatever. Or so yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, that's it for today's podcast. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. And as always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, and we are close to that goal. We're sitting at, let me actually see the update, just in case. We're sitting at 833 subscribers still, so we need 167 subscribers to go to hit number 1,000. And once we hit 1,000, planning on doing something special. I don't know yet, but I am also planning on doing a giveaway, so... The closer we get to that thousand, the more details I would have for that stuff. Uh, I will be back. We'll all be back on Thursday with the group stream. Continue Stranger of Paradise. Hopefully we can finish the DLC uh, next playthrough. And, of course, Friday I'll be back with some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I also will have a video up this week on something. Just look out for that video. Uh, fam, where can I catch you at? Right here. Every Saturday and Thursday on the Random Encounter podcast on Twitch, Twitter, slash X, and YouTube at FanXY. What about you, Bryant? Uh, find me at uh, Twitter on uh, red underscore so underscore deep. And as always, you can catch me here uh, debating if I should get an Ein Odin 2 or not. <laughs> That's the next debate. We already did the ROG Ally slash Steam Deck. Now we're on to, should I get an Iron Odin 2 or not? So, yes, I will start the podcast Just with that opening. <laughs> Checking another month and that question will still be unanswered. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you, fan. Thank you, Brian. And we will catch you guys next time. Like, click that bell.